Hey you guys, so I am back today for a long awaited review of the Camille Rose leave-in conditioners. Um, about two weeks ago, I purchased the Honey Hydrate leave-in and also the Herbal Tea Seal and Soft. Soften. Now, <clears throat> I purchased both of these through her website, Camille Rose. She did have a sale going on a couple of weeks ago. One of my subscribers told me about it. I didn't purchase it at the time because I wasn't sure. <sighs> Literally a week later, I went ahead and purchased it because shipping through her is very cheap. It's like $6 flat. You cannot beat that. Let me start taking my hair down, y'all. You can't beat that. Get to the point, girl. She no longer has these on her website to sell individually. Um, they are listed as the collection, all three products. I was able to get these at $14 each, um, including the $6 shipping. So let's get right into the review. Heads up, I'm going to be moisturizing my hair in real time because I wanna talk to y'all about something. Yes, so anyway, uh, hair is looking very, very full and fluffy because we are at two weeks um of uh, semi mini twists i took them down kind of separated my hair is a little raggedy on the ends um i wouldn't say it definitely needs to be moisturized but um yeah she, she needs a little bit of moisture so those of you who are familiar with the lco method that is liquid cream oil i'm using the jane carter solution quench curl hydrator as my liquid and of course the Honey Hydrate Leave-In by Camille Rose as my cream, cream quote unquote, and the Herbal Tea Silk and Soften as my oil. So let's just get right into the consistencies, the smell, and all that good jazz. Um, first of all, this looks like real honey. I can't leave it in here because my husband would definitely put it in his tea. Oh, that smells good. That smells, you know what? Because of the soapiness, that smells like cognac. <laughs> Damn alcoholic. <laughs> no, it smells like a whiskey. <clears throat> it really does to me. It smells, you know how some whiskeys have a honey type scent. I mean, some whiskeys are to have that sweet type of smokiness smell. It doesn't smell, I shouldn't say that. It smells good. Let's get into a little bit of the consistency. Oh, so you know what? Hold on y'all. Let me shake this up first, okay? Does that have oil in it? It has castor oil. Okay, let me shake it up. All right, now let's get into the consistency. It's like honey. This consistency is just like honey. And it has quite a bit of castor oil. You can see how shiny my finger is. So with that, and since it's a liquid leave-in, it's, I wouldn't say, it's it's not like your traditional leave-ins. I'm guessing that I won't need to use a lot of this. I would literally use like drops of this. Now, I'm also considering doing a hot oil treatment. If you guys are interested in seeing that just with this product alone, cause there's a lot of it. I will do a hot oil treatment if you guys are interested. Even hell, I could try this as a pre poo mixing it with a conditioner and see how this works because um, yeah. So I sectioned off my hair. I don't want it, you know, really damp. I'm gonna take the leave-in. About 15 cents worth. Yeah, y'all, I don't think I'm gonna use hardly any of that oil. If I do, I will use it towards my end. This feels so good. And it really does feel like honey. <clears throat> the consistency is just like honey. She was able to get that from the castor oil is what I'm guessing. Okay, and I'm gonna take just a little bit of the herbal tea and let me smell it. It smells like tea. <clears throat> Nettle leaf and sage, I was about to say, I smell sage. Nettle leaf and sage, um, some of the ingredients. So that's it, that's all I'm using. This is a very lightweight oil. So look y'all, this is what I want to talk about. Are any of y'all canceling Echo Salad Gel? <laughs> Girl, look, I've been seeing, I've been watching the, the you know, videos. And look, you guys, I am a huge lurker. I do comment on videos. Um, 
and I know some of y'all see me and I see some of y'all, but these last few, Echo Style of Jealous cancel. They trying to kill black women. <laughs> That's not funny, but what is comical to me is the fact that, and I'm just gonna twist my hair up once I'm done with each section and probably should make that a little smaller, girl. So, there was one very popular, actually a couple of popular YouTubers who have been making videos about this. Echo Stella Joe, this is how I feel, you guys. And this is my honest opinion. Y'all have seen me use Echo Stella Gel. <clears throat> Mostly it's for wash and go. That's what a lot of, you know, a lot of naturals use it for. I don't really do wash and goes. Y'all know how I feel about it. Um, I really don't use Echo Stella Gel. So let me tell you something. If your product is gonna cost $2 and some change, because that's how much it is, unless you get the really big one, which sells for four dollars some change. If it is costing less than five dollars, what makes you think that there are going to be organic, all natural ingredients in this product? Hell, I've gotten it on clearance for ninety nine cents. I'm not expecting Gucci uh, results on Kmart prices. That doesn't make any sense to me. So if you are looking for all natural ingredients, great products, you need to be purchasing products from those type of lines. Echo Stella isn't it, baby. It is it's not. If you can find it at Walmart for a, a couple of dollars, do not be quick to jump on the bandwagon before you do your own research, okay? Like I said, I have a jar of Echo Stella gel in here. I don't use it as much um, <clears throat> because it's just not a good, it's not a good product. We have to know how to pick our battles, you guys. I mean, unless you are using Echo Stella gel every day, <laughs> which God bless you if you are a girl. Unless you are using the Echo Style of Gel every day, what they're really poisoning us in is our food that we are ingesting and eating every day. Now, I will also say this. I don't know if it was the Echo Style of Gel or I see Fantasia Gel. One of those gels, when I was using it, my eyes started watering up, and that is a side effect. That's, that's a chemical that's causing that reaction. So yeah. I back I will be coming back on camera in about two to three more hours to show you guys what my hair looks like after I've allowed the products to kind of dry some okay so it's been a couple of hours and so I'm gonna take down this section right here in the front um, when I squeeze my hair I do feel a little, a little oily however keep in point that I think most of the time when we use a leave-in it's like a day or two um, it's been a couple of hours so let me go ahead and take down one, like I said. Yeah, my hair feels extremely soft. I will say that this is what it looks like up Look at that shine. Look at that shine. Smells good. Keep in point, my hair is dirty. It's been two weeks and it smells good because of the honey leave-in. Very, very nice. Let me take down one more. My hair is very soft. I know I keep saying that. Look at that, the shine. So, would I use the products again? Absolutely. With this in mind, I would use the leave-in on wet to um, freshly washed hair, preferably, because um, I feel like it's a type of leave-in that if you're not careful, if you use too much, um, that it could cause a little bit of, of buildup, not really. I don't feel that way right now, but it's a potential that it could. Um, but yeah, when I use it the next time, it will most definitely be on freshly washed, damp hair. Like the oil, very lightweight. I definitely will be doing a hot oil treatment with that and possibly a pre-poo. I'm gonna go ahead and twist this last one back up. And that is it, you guys. Um, Thank you so much for your patience over the course of the last two weeks since I've been out. And yeah, new content is definitely coming. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.